Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamer's game review of the 1985 classic game, Baseball, by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo's Baseball was released as part of the Nintendo Sports Series. I played Little League Baseball when I was a kid, and I loved baseball video games. And this was one of my favorites, maybe because it was the first baseball game on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or maybe because it set a very good standard that future baseball games used, like MLB and the RBI series. The rules of the game are the same as they are in baseball, and if you don't know the rules to baseball, you probably shouldn't be playing a baseball video game. But here's a few rules. Each team gets three outs in an inning, and there are nine innings in a game. The object of the game is to score more runs than your opponent. If you are tied after nine innings, the game will go into extra innings until someone wins. This game is a one or two player game. When you start the game, you can choose from six different teams. Team A are the Angels, Team C are the Cardinals, Team D are the Dodgers, Team P are the Phillies, Team R are the Royals, and Team Y are the Yankees. There is no difference between the teams except for the colors of their uniforms. The controls are very simple. When you're fielding, the direction pad are the bases. Right is first base, up is second base, left is third base, and down is home plate. So when you field the ball, hold down the correct base and hit A or B to throw the ball to that base. When pitching, you only have three different pitches. Just hit the A button for a regular pitch. Hold up and hit the A button for a slow ball. And hold down and hit the A button for a fast ball. You can curve the ball by pressing left or right before the ball gets to home play. You can also try to pick off base runners by pressing the B button and the correct base. When you're batting, you can move around in the batter's box using the direction pad. Hit the A button to swing the bat, and if you just barely tap the A button, you can stop your swing halfway to bunt. If you want to advance a runner to the next base or still a base, hit the base you're on and the A button. If you want to go back, hit the base you want to go back to and hit the B button. What I really like about baseball is that it's a really good two-player game. I like that you can't control the infielders or the outfielders, making this game very competitive. So if you've never played this game before and you're playing someone who's really good at video games, they will not have an advantage over you because this game cannot be mastered and anyone can play it. I only have a few complaints about this game. The first complaint is that if you hit a hard ground ball through the right gap, the right fielder throws you out at first. The second complaint is that sometimes the fielders field the ball like major league all-stars. Then other times they're worse than little leaguers, making you very frustrated. The third complaint is that when you have runners on base and you hit a fly ball that you know is going to be a hit, your runners will stop running for some reason. The last complaint is the lack of music in this game. Like most early Nintendo games, they weren't very creative when it came down to the music. At least they could have put in Take Me Out to the Ball Game or an occasional da 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 charge. That would have made the game a lot better. And the sound effects in the game are nothing special. They're okay, but they can get a little annoying. See what I mean? When you're pitching, whether you play the computer or a friend, never throw the same ball too often, and never throw a set pattern. Always mix up your pitches. When fielding, always try to get the lead runner out first, but if you don't think you can get him out, throw it to first for the sure out, or they both might end up safe. When batting, if you swing early, you pull the ball. If you swing and have perfect timing, you will hit the ball up the middle. And if you swing late, you will push the ball into the opposite field. Use this technique to your advantage. I read on the internet that if you hold down the B button while batting, you hit the ball higher and farther. So I tried this out, and it didn't seem to work for me. I also read that batters 3, 4, and 5 are more powerful than other batters. I don't know if this is true, but it makes sense if it is true. So this concludes my video game review of baseball. I have to score this game a very good 7 out of 10. It's a very challenging one player game and I can't tell you enough about how great of a two player game this is. And a must have for any true classic baseball gamer.